Hello everyone. Hope that you guys are doing great today. It's a little bit chillier day today, so I hope you're staying warm and having fun. Today we have a Fowler and Winston joining us for our story. Uh, they are super excited to be with us today. Today, before we get started, I want you guys to be thinking about what is a dream that you have? Is there something you want to accomplish? Is there something you want to get better at? Is there something that you hope to be one day? What is a dream that you have? I want you to share that out loud. What is your dream? So a dream that Miss Wood has is to be a really good gardener. Um, I love working out in my yard. I love planting flowers and I have a raised vegetable garden. Um, and so I always dream of making my garden better and more beautiful. So also while we're, um, before we get started today, I want us to look carefully at our cover. And I want you to think about, we just shared some dreams that we have. What do you think our story could be about today? What do you predict is going to happen? Look carefully at that title. Allie's Basketball Dream. Now, also, while we are um, reading today, I want you to be thinking about character traits. Remember, character traits describe how a character is acting or feeling. Um, we are going to be talking about character traits to describe Allie. And we're going to be talking about what happens in the story to prove those character traits. Also, we're going to be talking about problem and solution. So let's get started. Allie's Basketball Dream. When Allie's father came home from work Friday evening, he brought her a gift. Because I love you, he said, and kissed Allie on the nose. The gift was something that Allie really wanted, a basketball. The next day, Allie and her father walked to the playground. Allie loved the, the sound her new basketball made as she bounced it on the sidewalk. As they passed the firehouse, they waved to Mr. Poonski, the fire captain. Hi, Domino! Allie called to the firehouse dog. Domino wagged his tail and licked Allie's basketball when she held it for him to sniff. At the playground, Allie scanned the basketball courts while her father talked with Mr. Gonzalez, the park monitor. Some older boys were already had a game going. All of the players were boys. They hardly ever missed a shot. Go ahead and practice, and then we'll shoot baskets together as soon as I get back from taking Aunt Harriet shopping. Allie's father told her, I'll just be across the street. If you need me, tell Mr. Gonzalez and he'll come get me. Okay, Allie replied. She waved goodbye and ran to an empty court. She lifted her new basketball over her head and aimed. The shot missed. She aimed again. She missed again. One of the boys playing in the next court noticed Allie and started to laugh. The others joined in. Boys, Allie mumbled. Then she dribbled and bounced and bounced and dribbled. How do you think she's feeling right now after missing those shots? Can you look at her face and kind of figure out what is she feeling? Is she upset? Is she a little disappointed? Sad? Allie's friend, Keisha, came into the playground with her hula hoop. 
Keisha saw Allie and held the hoop up. Allie aimed her basketball and zoom! Right through the middle. Let's play basketball, Allie said. I, I don't know how, Keisha answered. I'll show you. Keisha twirled her hula hoop. My brother says basketball's for a boy's game. Your brother doesn't know what he's talking about, Allie said. She aimed at an empty trash can. She stepped back a few feet and took a shot. Thump! In! Allie noticed her neighbor, Buddy, jumping rope with her friend, Sheba, and another girl. When he missed the... When he missed, he ran off to join some other kids who wanted to use his volleyball. Hi, Allie, Sheba called. Is that your basketball? Yep, my dad gave it to me. Want to shoot some baskets? Uh, maybe later, Sheba replied. Want to jump double dutch? Mm, maybe later. Allie said. Allie pretended she was playing soccer. She kicked the ball and chased it. Then she looked up at the basket, aimed, and shot. The ball struck the backboard, then the rim, and bounced off. Julio, who was in Allie's class at school, whizzed by on his skateboard. He made a sharp turn when he noticed the new basketball. Wow, Julio exclaimed. Is that yours? Yes, said Allie proudly. Let's shoot some baskets. Julio looked at Allie, his eyes wide. You must be kidding, he said. Me? Shoot baskets with a girl? No thanks. He laughed and skated away. Allie heaved a sigh and eyed the basket. She took another shot. The ball circled the rim and fell off. She heard some of the boys in the next court chuckle. She tried again and again. Notice that last line where it says, she tried again and again. What character trait can you use to describe that? She keeps trying over and over. Is she determined? Allie sighed again and plopped down on a bench. Buddy walked over, bouncing his volleyball. What's up? he asked. Something wrong with your basketball? Well, Allie hesitated. I'll trade you my volleyball for it. It's smaller and lighter. It'll be easier for you to play with. I, I don't know, Allie said. Buddy reached into his pocket. He took out a miniature sports car, two quarters, and some great bubble gum. Allie's favorite. You can have these and my volleyball for the basketball. He said, would you trade your basketball for a toy car and some bubble gum and quarters and a volleyball? What would you do in Allie's situation? Allie thought it over. She remembered the first time her father took her to a basketball game at Madison Square Garden. She loved it all. The noise of the crowd the bright lights on the court, and especially the slam dunks the players made look so easy. She knew right then and there that one day she would be a professional basketball player too. Allie hugged her basketball close. No way I'm getting rid of this ball. It's a gift from my dad. Someday I'm going to be the best basketball player 
ever. Well, Buddy snorted, some guys think girls shouldn't be playing basketball. That's dumb. Allie bounced her ball. My cousin Gwen plays on one of the best high school teams in her state. She's won more than 10 trophies. Buddy looked surprised. Some girls think boys shouldn't be jumping rope, Allie continued. They think boys are no good at it. Well, that's dumb too. Buddy unwrapped two pieces of gum. You want some? Allie and Buddy blew huge purple bubbles. They popped their gum so loud that Domino ran over to investigate. He pranced right up to Allie and sniffed her basketball. You want to play basketball, Domino? Come on, boy, let's play. Domino ran alongside Allie as she dribbled and bounced, laughing. Allie turned towards the basket and took a long distance shot. The ball brushed against the backboard, rolled around the rim, and dropped in. Buddy jumped up from the bench. Nice shot, Allie, he yelled and ran to retrieve the ball. Thanks, Allie said, beaming. Let's look at the word beaming. What do you think is a synonym or a word that means the same thing as beaming? If we look carefully at our illustration, we can see that she has a smile. If she is beaming, then we could also say that she is proud or excited. Julio saw the shot too. So did Sheba. They both hurried to the center of the court. Here! Allie and Julio and Sheba called to Buddy almost in one voice. Buddy dribbled the ball then passed it to Allie. She took a shot and missed. Don't worry, Allie, Buddy yelled. Julio and Sheba each shot and missed. Allie caught the ball and dribbled closer to the basket. I can't wait to show Dad what I can do, she thought. Up, up went the ball. It didn't touch the backboard. It didn't touch the rim. It didn't touch anything. Zoom in. The older boys in the next court applauded. Mr. Gonzalez whistled. Domino barked. Above all the noise rose a familiar voice. Allie's father. That a girl, he shouted. Hooray for Allie. What a super awesome book. What character traits would you use to describe Allie? What were some of the, th the reasons that you chose these traits? Would you say that she is motivated, determined, proud, maybe courageous? Also, did Allie face any problems in the story? What were they? Working on making a basket? Being told that girls don't play basketball? Awesome job with today's story, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. I am missing you all very much. I have been super excited to see all the wonderful things that you are posting on Seesaw. Keep up the hard work, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye!